yeah, you know, he's, he's, you know, taking some of those shots um, throughout his tenure. Um, and, it, you know, when they're in rhythm, great, you know, and I think at times it's, you know, he's, he's missed some of those early, but to see him, you know, make a few and uh, put a string together, I think is great. Now he's got his legs under him, sees the ball go in. Uh, and it's, it, once again, it's going to entice the defense to press up and it uh, opens the floor up for everybody. Well, I don't think he was trying. I think he was, uh, he turned down a couple of good looks, um, and which wound up being some tougher ones, some that he can make. Obviously, he's a, he's a really good mid range player. Um, but, you know, some of those corner threes, I thought he hesitated at times. When, you know, when the ball finds you, especially in rhythm, you know, I think you just do yourself a favor, but also us and, and the way he shot it all season. Um, you know, I encourage him to take those. All right, Coach, we'll the Zoom. Chase? Hey, Wes. Uh, you mentioned how the ball kind of stagnated in the second half. Um, why do you think that was? Uh, was it the Hawks and their defense, or did you guys do something differently? Well, they started to switch more. Um, and, you know, we've seen that several times. The switches takes away, you know, all the triggers. So it keeps bodies in front. Um, so if you can't, you know, crack the seam, you got to keep that ball moving and uh, get them to play second, third side. Now, you know, usually you get an advantage, long closeout or something to at least get downhill and it, it ignite the defense. Uh, but, you know, you're playing shell offense around the perimeter. You really don't have an opportunity to do that, which lends to more mid-range shots, more one-on-one -on -one possessions, and, and obviously uh, less assists. And um, how would you explain the turnover differential, not, not just the ones that you guys committed early on, but the fact that they uh, protected the ball so well? Well, you know, some of them were careless, you know, uh, some of them, you know, jump passes, uh, you know, you get down in the paint, uh, you're not out in control. Uh, some, of, some of them are, you know, you're, you're making plays of aggression and they're handsy and active, active hands and they, they got uh, a few tips, you know, the ball gets away from you at times, but, you know, I don't think it was anything of, of selfish nature. I think we just were a little careless and then sometimes we were trying to make plays that weren't there. We'll go to Neil. Hey, Coach, how much do you think the back-to-back, -back, not necessarily just only just like tired legs and effort and things like that, just creeped into mental focus and things like that for the game plan execution tonight? Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I can only speculate. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's some degree of fatigue. Um, you know, both teams got in late, so uh, not really much of an excuse. We, we've been we played back-to-backs all season, so you, you have to kind of put that one aside, uh, take it for what it's worth, and, and, and find a way. You know, it's maybe it takes, you know, a little bit more, you know, emotional, mental, physical fortitude to get through, you know, push through um, some of those tough moments. Uh, whew, we made a lot of tough shots in the second, in the first half. Um, moved the ball really well. I thought I've got a little stuck in the second half. Um, and when you're missing shots, we weren't really attacking the paint, getting shots to the rim to kind of make up for it. And, uh, Trey Young got it going, so they pulled away. I got to the free throw line a bunch, drew a bunch of fouls. Um, I think he shot, like, felt like he shot like eight or ten free throws, something like that in the third quarter. Um, when you see the ball go through the rim, as a you know good player like he is, three start falling, you can get a rhythm, and it's over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, guys like Ish and Sato, um, that's like what they do professionally. You know, they get downhill and they they, they find you. Um, I love playing with guys like that that make my job really easy. Um, and then, you know, once once they drive and, and uh, kick it, uh, and we kind of just play off the rotations. And uh, it's a really simple, easy game. We get a ton of wins and we play that way. All right, Craig, we'll head over to Zoom. Chase? Hey, Corey, um, how would you kind of describe the, the turnover differential tonight? Um, you guys obviously had a few of them, a few too many of them in the first quarter, and they also did a, a really good job of protecting. Them. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we were, I mean, kind of, you kind of get a, you get, you get to see that, you know, at the half, we we're shooting better than them from the field. Um, 
almost better than them from three and we're, we're down two. So they, they just got a lot more possessions, a lot more possessions than we did. And um, it's a credit to them. They're a really good first quarter team and they jumped on us again and um, were able to kind of speed us up. And by the time we got settled down, it was a little too late. And 18 assists for you guys in the first half, six in the second. What was the difference? Yeah, I mean, I think just Atlanta got more physical on the defensive end. Um, they made us play one on one. They made us play, you know, down the um, down the shot clock. And um, you know, we thrive when we can move the ball and play with freedom. And uh, they just were physical and took us out of it. We'll go to Neil. Hey, Corey. Not necessarily a question about the game, but you know, you're an avid golfer. Coos is also very much into golf. I'm curious, just have you guys been able to bond over that any point this season? And maybe do you guys have plans to play around together? Oh yeah. We played, uh, the only time I played with Coos was Orlando on the road. Um, I smoked him and, but it was fun. You know, I, uh, you know, I had to throw that in there. Um, yeah, I smoked him, but it was fun. It was a blast. Coos is getting into it. He got into it during the bubble. Um, and he loves it. He's got a, I think he's got a simulator going up in his house in LA and, um, he's caught the bug. So I'm really happy, I'm happy about that. And um, probably getting a few rounds uh, this off season uh, when we, you know, are in the same place. I think they made some adjustments and, and we were kind of a little bit, not as disciplined maybe as, as the first half. I first half shots were falling a bit more too. Um, I don't know, it's hard to say now, just kind of the emotions are fresh. I will have to look at the game and, and see what happened there, but some turnovers on like, unforced turnovers on our part too. So yeah, could have could have had a much better second half, but they did make some adjustments and, and and they were a bit more experienced in you know towards the end of the game. Uh I think I think he's an important piece. You know, he's super selfless out there, um, playing for his teammates, trying to find the the, the right pass, the right play. Um, I think we're also starting to, at least I, I am getting a better feel for for Wes and for the coaching staff and and what they wanna want us to do out there. Um, and I think yeah, slowly we're kind of uh, figuring each other out, uh, especially my teammates. You know, with me because I just just got here. Um, and I think yeah, it's you know we're still pretty far away from where we want to be in terms of like chemistry and stuff like that. But but uh, but it's not bad for for this short of a period of time. It's it's, it's pretty good, and uh, I'm excited to uh, to see what's you know what's ahead of us. Uh, and rebounds? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Might might be 18. Maybe I think I had 18 before. Yeah. So tied. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, like rebound wise, uh, nothing really. Just going after it a lot of times. I mean, Kuz were talking on the bench. Like it just happens sometimes. You you always try to keep for the keep going for the rebound, but sometimes it just keeps falling in your hands, and sometimes it doesn't. So tonight was one of those nights, and I was aggressive on the offensive boards also. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I've told the. Uh, uh, medical staff. I almost feel better in the second night of a back-to-back. -back. You know, my body's like the engine is going, and I just go out there, and I felt pretty good today. I had some legs also, uh, and and yeah, just just happy to be getting in a in a good rhythm, and and I want to keep building from here on out. All right, KP. We'll move over to Zoom. We'll start with Chase. Hey man, what have you thought about the the ball movement? recently you know the last seven or eight games for you guys um, um playing with these these teammates and in west Sunset juniors offense sorry I, I couldn't hear the ball movement yeah what yeah i guess what have you thought about the the way the ball has moved within uh west Sunset juniors um offensive system you know particularly these last seven or eight games yeah no i think we're uh, uh we're making progress definitely um uh, the coaching staff and west they gave us some um um, some stats of when we get, uh, I don't remember the exact number, over a certain number uh, assists over that number, then we're 
I don't know, 13 and, and four or some, some crazy number. So pretty much the message was that the more assists we get, the more we share the ball, the better we play and, and the better also our defensive numbers are. So uh, that's something they're trying to um, uh, instill. In, that's the word, I don't know. Instill into us and, and, and or there's another word. It's, you get what I'm trying to say, and 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 make sure that we're passing the ball, moving the ball, and, and playing for each other, and then and then we're a better basketball team on both ends of the floor. And I know we've asked you about a lot of the young players on the team. I don't know if we've gotten your take on Corey Kispert. Uh, what do you think about his game and, and the way he's developing? I think Corey has gotten better since since the moment I, I got here till now, and. Um, I think he's he's feeling more and more comfortable in certain situations, and and he's already a you know when I got here he was already a great shooter, great, um, uh, great doing certain things, strong body, um, uh, and now I think and also great cutter. He's he's one of the best cutters I've seen, uh, and now he's I think he's getting more comfortable with the ball and, and getting to the rim and, and getting some nice dunks and, and finishes around the rim. So um, yeah, he's been great and and. Uh, and if he keeps keeps getting better like this, he's he's, he's going to have a uh, he's going to have a great career. Uh, just to follow up, one of the best cutters you've seen. Do you mean that is like for a young player, or or like generally like one of the be better cutters that you've seen in the league? Oh yeah, he's he's just really good off the ball. He's really good off the ball. He has really good timing for for those cuts, um, and he's always looking for them, you know. And, and yeah, he's, he plays with high energy. Um, he's I feel like he's the type of guy that. That you want on a on a winning team, he makes winning plays. He plays hard, and and offensively, he he has a good instincts. We'll go over to Neil. Hey KP, you just mentioned you know just chatting with Kuz on the bench. I guess how have you guys been able to continue you know growing that friendship and bond? You know even though he's you know missed the last few games. Yeah, yeah. No, I think from the moment I got here, uh, I, I kind of clicked with everybody right away. Uh, you know, it's my seventh year in the league already, so I know some of the guys uh, just by playing against them and stuff. So um, as soon as I got here, I got, you know, clicked with everybody. Um, and yeah, Pre-game, post-game meals together and, and, and just talking about whatever, talking smack and having fun. And, and that's how you build relationships. And, and after that, you know, translates um, translates on the court, which is, you know, what, what we're – what we're looking for. Thanks, KP. Safe travels back. Thank you very much. And we'll finish up with Christos. What would you like to maintain and change, maintain and change to your game uh, in the next uh, couple of games until the end of regular season? How, how you try to approach those type of games? Uh, yeah, no, I just, I, I'm out there. I think with each game, I'm feeling better and better rhythm wise. Uh, I want to keep building on that. I want to keep uh, rebounding the ball well. Um, protecting the rim. Uh, I, I still feel like there's some situations where I'm just like half a step late for those blocks. And, and that's just a, a, a feel thing and, and a little bit of legs and a little bit of uh, anticipation, uh, but I will get there. And, and I have a long summer ahead of me uh, that I'm looking forward to uh, working on my body, working on my game. Um, but yeah, finishing strong this season to make sure that I go into the off season with, with a good feeling about, you know, how I finished and, and, and put in a, a crazy amount of work and and come back next season ready ready for um, ready for uh, ready for some action. And that, that almost twenty point twenty rebound game for you tonight is it was sign of uh, the comfort level that you feel in the team uh, at this stage of the season. Yeah, definitely. The the uh, more and more comfortable with each game. With the coaching staff, with the, with every everybody, with my teammates, my teammates have been great finding me in in, in situations where I'm most comfortable, and, and 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 yeah, and I think we're getting a feel for each other, and in, in some of the small like pick and pop, pick and pick and roll, or even the small setting the screen on me, those kind of plays where we can get advantage and and create for each other. So I'm um, happy to, to you know the, the way the way the way we're uh, getting a feel for each other, and and yeah, I'm looking forward to to keep building.